All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back. So, yes, it's now time for another banger reaction this week. So, I have two Blade Ball reactions and one Cool Order 9 video I'm going to do. So, first things first, I'm doing the Blade Ball recap of God of War. And the title is called How Kratos Showed Baldor That He's a God of Violation. So, this is going to be basically a recap of both Kratos and Baldor fighting for the first time and in the epic final battle. I mean, holy freaking crap, man. I, first of all, the game itself is a total masterpiece. 10 out of 10, for sure. And God of Ragnarok is right up there, superior to the first one, to the last one. And, uh, yeah, man, it was like, whoo. See, playing this back in 20, 2020 is just like, dang, man, I should have played this back in 2018 because I believe the game did came out 2018. Because I know 2018 has such incredible games. This and Red Dead Redemption 2 particularly, I could think of right off the bat. But yes, man, God of War was definitely one of the greatest games i played ever. And still is my favorite game on the PS4 and one of my favorite games of the decade. At least top three for me. Definitely top three. Comment below if you played God of War and God of Ragnarok, by the way. And see how y'all love it, man. So, Hot Squad, without further ado, it's now time to check out Blake Boy's recap of God of War. PS4, baby. So, Hot Squad, let's get straight to it. Boy. 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 This way, boy. And now, our feature presentation. So to kick it off, this man Boulder pulls up to Kratos' crib and gets to fry him off rip. Not even a hello, what's up, what's good, nothing. Got his instigating badge on Hall of Fame trying to bait Kratos into boxing him. Straight full court pressing this man. But Kratos is like, listen, I've already offed all of Olympus. I've hung the jersey up. You do not want any smoke with me. Stop it. <laughs> Balder said, man, shut your <laughs> leg, <lady> man. <laughs> up, slapping the shit out of him. Damn. This is one of the first scenes of the game, and I'm thinking to myself, damn, what happened to Kratos? Why is he taking a beating like Rihanna right now? <laughs> Get back. <laughs> Young Kratos damn. would have already packed up Balder like a lunchbox just for even stepping on his lawn. Balder tells Kratos the only way I'm leaving here is if you kill me and starts piecing him up out of nowhere. Hitting him with a left, grabbing his dick into an uppercut, and then going for a right which Kratos grabs. No more of these free make-a-wish ass punches for you, it's over now. He starts twisting his arm, got Balder looking like he about to throw the meanest pitch of all time. And punches him dumb hard, putting him in the Batman now talk pose. Kratos did him so dirty with that one punch, he couldn't even believe it. Had to look back at us to make sure we were seeing this too. Balder starts begging, no, 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 while on the ground. And I'm thinking to myself, damn, you had enough already? You just got here. He really pulled up to the park with his headband on, his arm sleeve, everything. Saw Kratos do a reverse dunk in warm-ups and said, I never mind. Kratos picks him up and this is when he gets hit with the Uno reverse card. Getting rocked in the gut, flying through one piece of his house, banging his head and landing on the other side of his crib. And just take a second real quick and just examine Kratos' face right here. That's clearly the look of father time catching up to you. My son Kratos in his Celtic Shaq era, putting up a staggering 4-6 and six per game. He looks back to see Balder cheesing high advantage on the roof. What's good, <laughs> Showing off his Michael oh, Jordan vertical, going for a knee, trying episode. to crush his head like We're a grape. Not. So they start boxing in the woods for a while until Balder decides to start cooking up himself push into a gut punch, then an uppercut next. Stops Kratos from floating all the way up to visit Iron Man, slamming him down and then throwing himself an alley-oop, just so this freaky ass nigga can get Kratos in missionary and start choking him out. Kratos is able to dodge the hit, but it creates a hole in the wall, allowing them to see inside the crib. Got Balder asking, why is there two beds? You're supposed to be here alone. This is how you know he's a supreme hater. There is no way you should be this upset that my son Kratos might be out here fucking. They take turns wrestling and rolling over each other until Kratos gets Balder exactly where he wants him. There's no way out of this one. Starts pounding his face absolutely viciously. What was that with Miles and Gwen Fortnite? Sending what was that? both of them crashing through the roof. Balder said, I eat those though, that's baby food. Grabbing yeah. Kratos, getting behind him, and slamming him. Ooh. Got his legs up in the air and okay. everything, oh. which is very fitting because he's getting fucked right now. Getting up and kicking the God of War away like an unwanted stepchild back into the woods. Balder starts talking his shit too. Struck a nerve, did I? On Mount Olympus, you're not surviving this nigga. Kratos goes yep. to chase after him, and based on that form, I could already tell he runs at least a 3 second 40. League him now. As Balder is getting rammed through mad shit, he's still asking about the second bed in the crib and who is Kratos hiding. I mean, damn, nigga, this is <laughs> elite's D1 level cock watching. Mind your business. He then pounds Kratos in the back, flattening him on the ground like a pancake. Slow and old. You should have never came to Midgard. 
Oh, nah. Kratos getting pressed out the hood. This can't be the same man from God of War 3. There's gotta be a doppelganger <laughs> or something. Tell Dwayne The Rock Johnson to take off the white paint. We're not buying the performance. Kratos tells him to shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up you. And starts piecing him up, but gets reversed this after three memories, minutes, man. And starts this getting bolted on. God of catching ass whoopings Ooh. will be his new name real soon because this is starting to get sad now. Balder threatens Kratos that he's gonna go in that crib and kill whoever Kratos is hiding in there. Kratos, of course, cannot let this happen. Everybody back at home go find out that he's Mr. save -a He activates his rage, sending Balder torpedoing into a tree, punching him so hard the whole tree basically explodes, Damn. grabs him and tosses him out the way so that he could casually pick up the tree and use it as a battering ram. The mm. same shit the SWAT team did to Bill Cosby when they SWATted him. <laughs> Went not. up in there and saw him watching Little Bill with a cart full of Cosby secret stuff chilling nearby. Oh, Kratos God. sends Balder crashing into a rock and he's still just asking him about who he has hiding in the crib. God damn, bro is so nosy. Why do you care so much, Dinkelberg ass nigga? Mind your business. <laughs> they continue to box for a while longer until Kratos blocks a punch, picks him up, got his back, making the letter C, and chucks him <laughs> into C. a rock hard as hell. High fives Baldur's face with the bottom of his shoe, and then just absolutely starts walling on him. This nigga never gonna pull up to this side of the forest again, bro. You know what? I don't even care who Kratos got camping inside his crib that much anyways. Kratos throws Balder and then starts punching this boulder. This is why these games always have a do not try this at home warning. Hmm. Motherfuckers don't listen and then end up with broken piano keys yeah, for fingers true. trying to recreate this that's shit. True. Throwing the rock on top of Balder and there's no way he lifts that up, right? Kratos clearly only has 10 HP left, limping away. This gotta be over. GG's, what's nope. the next mission looking like? But I was very wrong. Balder got my man Kratos hitting the cap in it just by the sound of his voice. How is he still alive? Bro just casually throws half a damn mountain at yeah, him. Dang. And I know Captain America watching this horny as hell. What the fuck is that shield this made out of? How just crush that, that mountain into hard. little tiny pieces so Damn. easily? Need me that expeditiously. <laughs> Balder thought he was first team all Sneak nation, but he must have been cut out the tryouts. <laughs> Kratos catches him and they begin holding hands, wrestling each other. And he lets Kratos know, listen gang, I can't even feel any of this. Nope. Honestly, I would have just quit <laughs> right there because what I look like fighting a nigga who can't even feel pain. Why is Ron Wave going to work out every day but still eating small meals of whole water buffaloes every day? Day. The shit is pointless. Balder hits Kratos with a right into another gut punch. Kratos gets sent to the sky, and as his small intestines is hitting the fucking Dougie from all these liver shots, Balder Jordan shows off his insane vertical again. But to be honest, he might as well have just stayed on the ground because he jumped all the way up here just to start getting pounded in the forehead. And he must have realized this because he like, damn, I'm getting cooked. I'm using Kratos as a launch pad to create space between them because my face needs a break. It is getting beat up. Up like James Charles with makeup. Got these bitches going from Beyonce to the Flying Dutchman when that <laughs> makeup falls off. Young Kings, be safe out here. Kratos <laughs> is able to stop himself from falling and climbs his way out of this hole. <laughs> Fetty Wap's music career cannot relate. Baldur <laughs> calls him pathetic though, kicking him how to he the other side of the cliff and talking mad shit in the process. Telling Kratos, listen, you should have just complied and given me the information I wanted and I wouldn't have needed to kill you. Bro is really out here talking to the God of War like he's <laughs> an easy lick. Listen here, Sonny, you must not know the type of time and this nigga was on back in his heyday. Mm -hmm. Put all the gods of Olympus on a t-shirt. Had this man Zeus laid out in his crib like a mattress. Goes yeah. in for a Superman punch, which Kratos is able to weave out the way of. They start boxing for a while until Kratos is able to grab Balder by the throat and slam him down. And tries to throw Balder away like a piece of trash, but Damn. he holds on and climbs back up. You're not gonna get away with spamming that same throwing move for the 17th time in a row. <laughs> Kratos bag looking real limited right now. Kareem with the skyhook every possession type timing. <laughs> Balder goes in for a hit which gets blocked. And then Kratos goes for a signature move called tossing a nigga which has a 100% survival rate. <laughs> grabs him and starts choking his ass out. Look how bloody they are bro. Look at the crazy mess that has been made of this whole place. If the ops come through later looking for who sent Balder to a Michael Jackson concert, there's no hiding it. Kratos <laughs> gonna be outed like R. Kelly. They had this man doing the action on video, showing his oh, hell face no, with hell the R. No, Kelly tattoo no, on no. his ass, and then uh, answered the phone in the video and said, yes, this is God. R. Kelly. Yes, the singer. Nigga oh, never stood a chance. Kratos is just continuing to choke him, and I mean, he's trying to break out, because... Until Kratos says that L3 and R. Kelly slapped him off the cliff. 
and he Damn. gets up limping all the way back to his crib to go celebrate the fact that he won that round. But yeah, little for now. did he know, this was just a battle in a war. Yep, so sure was. Following Thursday. So Balder is after his mother Freya trying to kill her, which is crazy. I played this game a while ago, so I don't exactly remember why he was tied at her. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the fact that she gave him the shitty five foot three jeans. And Kratos is continuing to move like Mr. save -a My boy <laughs> is pussy whipped, going out sad. This is clearly who Jordan Baker from All American modeled his game after. Damn. Never seen a nigga so excited I've to be a stepdad before. <laughs> Pushing Baldur away and they get to square him <laughs> off again. Until Baldur pulls off his signature move, launching Kratos all the way into the sky. But this time just letting him land into a delicious plate of straight dirt. Kratos goes to get up, but that's when Groot spawns in out of nowhere and starts holding him down. So Atreus pulls up, and bro, look at the weak ass butter knife that this goofball is gonna try and cut the branch with. I know Kratos sick to his stomach right now. I should have pulled out when I had the chance. I'm never getting out of here. Groot tries to get Balder too, but he rolls out the way, picking up a rock and checking it at his mom Freya. Balder tells Atreus to move out the way, but he doesn't listen. No fairy tale ending for you. Little nigga thought this was Disney Channel. <laughs> Fuck them kids. <laughs> no, I won't let you hurt my dad. Balder punched him in the chest so hard, had him on the ground glitching. Brodon forgot how to breathe. Kratos had to remind him. The lights was clearly too bright. He didn't know what he was out there doing. But this is when Balder starts celebrating like he just won the NBA championship because this piece of kryptonite in his hand, I know Superman somewhere shivering right now, is giving him the ability to feel things again, which is all he ever wanted. His ability to physically feel, which Freya took away from him. Busting enough for bro been the most boring thing for centuries. I feel him. I'd be angry too. Homie started instantly massaging his nipples. He can't even believe this. But this is how you know Balder is really a demon. Yep. Because the first thing he trying to do is to beat Kratos and his son the fuck up. Now I could really feel it when I'm turning your bones into ramen noodles. <laughs> but Groot flanks Balder from behind because he clearly did not have his mic volume turned all the way up. <laughs> Freya decides to call over the giant to come put a stop to all the nigga tree that's going <laughs> on. We are 100% in the midst of a nigga moment oh. right now. And we cannot yep. let this go on for any longer. A nigga moment. The <laughs> I, love, nigga moment I love this moment. A moment when ignorance overwhelms the mind of an otherwise logical negro man. So he picks up Kratos and Atreus, throwing them on top of the mountain in an attempt to this separate was both epic parties. As hell. My but God. There was no way the this giant was epic, really thought epic. this was gonna put an end to all the fighting. Dudes be fighting each other from the same city, <laughs> from the same state, <laughs> from the same country. But these two got smoke for each other from different planets. That's top tier mm -hmm. beef right there. God, this wait. only ends in death for somebody. Kratos finds Balder banging him in the side of the neck Ooh. with the shield and then stabbing him in the ribcage with the Blades of Chaos. Damn. Yeah, he decided to bust them back out, just like an unk putting on his fit from the ears. <laughs> but Kratos decides to leave the blade inside of Balder so that he could yank the chain, sending him spinning into Ooh. the side of a rock. Kratos and Atreus were really on go, but of course, here comes the giant yep. third partying out of nowhere. Yep. And here's where I really start to notice a common occurrence of just nobody in this damn universe knows how to mind their business. Right? Why would you even <laughs> want to stop this? I used to be courtside with popcorn at every fight in my high school. <laughs> I love the drama. Literally bridging them off with his ring so that they can't finish the job. Bro thought he was slick. He could have blocked them off using his hand, but he purposely chose the ring so that he could flex his VVs. But Kratos is a top tier hater and refuses to be denied, so he lifts up the giant's hand so that Atreus could get a clean shot on the crystal and shoot it off. Not the VVs. Atreus does it and it sends them all flying. Kratos goes flying off the mountain and the game developers made sure that he hit every single thing possible yep, on the way survived. down to make it and as survived. painful as possible on the way down. Seriously. He of course survives the fall. Black Widow cannot relate. Damn. Picks himself up Damn. and starts looking around at his ops. Black Widow. And with Balder on the ground floor with him still trying to box and the giant coming at him from the top, you can't tell me they're not trying to do him like how Venom and Sandman did my son Peter in hmm. Spider-Man 3. This was elite jumping, had my son Peter reaching out for the spirit of Uncle Ben to come save him. Balder thought his ass was Cristiano Ronaldo going in for a kick, but Kratos grabs it, as well as his throat, chucking him away. Whips out the axe and beams it at him right in the shoulder, sending him back flipping into a pile of ice. 
Kratos activates his Hall of Fame chase down artist to go finish the job, and of course, of course. the giant, yep, the giant. interferes yep. again. <laughs> Bro, it's so that. insistent to make sure they Ooh. stop fighting. Now, all of a sudden, everybody's a pacifist. Bro, <laughs> fuck off. He takes some sort of stick out of his head and slams it into the ground, but all that did was give Balder a climbing path to Hell get no. to his mom, who's all the way up there, so that he could finish the job of sending her to the <laughs> Shadow Realm. Kratos jumps up and brings Atreus along with him, which kind of disappointed me, I'm not gonna lie. He's teaching Lil Bro to be Mr. Save a Bitch Jr. <laughs> to be honest, I just let Balder kill Freya. The fuck I look like? The Justice League? <laughs> let family handle their internal family issues the way they do. Atreus hops off, showing his aimbot, shooting Balder right in the knee, forcing him to get down and hit the will you marry me pose, <laughs> until he eventually pulls the arrow out. Kratos said, oh yeah, this is my chance, turning on the jets just to get folded in seconds like a lawn chair. I've never seen somebody so eagerly run into an ass whooping the way he just did. The closest thing I could think of was in Naruto with Tsunade's little brother. Lil Bro ran into the building thinking he was him and got boomed instantly. Homie was not gonna be Hokage. Balder starts pounding Kratos, but no damage is being done. He's blocking everything until he goes for a slam and Kratos is able to duck out the way. Elbowing him in the side and then grabbing his neck, Kratos freaky ass love doing that shit so that they could send a double team and Atreus shoots him in his arm right into the right hook. And again, some more choking. Whole time, the giant just in the background looking at all this just like, oh nah, these niggas just walling. The ground isn't stable, so they just take turns delivering doses of this is a one each shot, other as they way. roll down. That's what and I love about the game Atreus so much. had one fucking job to just stand up and he couldn't even do that right. So Kratos of course has to save the day and grab him, leaving himself compromised and yes. his head kicks right to the chin. This method of choosing to block with his face won't last long. This that Tobey Maguire defense, that's why his two always look like this by the end of the movie. But this is when they bust out the move they've been practicing all week. Atreus shoots him in the chest, so Kratos could throw him up in the air and he could yep, deliver another one sick. to the yeah, belly. Damn. Kratos picks up Balder, and I already know he's having PTSD because it's <laughs> the same way he got sent to the gulag <laughs> earlier. Kratos just straight low broing him, noogie and everything, until he decides to jump off. Atreus already knows the drill because he jumps off too, and this Ooh, right here was God. badass. I know, that's, that's gas, yo. Over and over that's and over gas, over gas. look at this. Kratos, Ooh, Kratos bangs Balder's head into the ground three times, Man. no shack at Kobe, until he decides to head but him tosses him so that he could get on top and then starts choking him now but atreus said nah fuck that runs over and now starts choking balder instead mm. clearly choking is these niggas favorite move but mm. balder said these moves is rated e for everybody yeah. yes i fight kids <laughs> headbutting atreus and then starts choking him out Man. as kratos chokes balder what the fuck is happening? Damn. Kratos is starting to realize how gay all this shit is, so the <laughs> Eminem in him enrages him, giving him the strength he needs to get Balder off of his neck into a right hook so Atreus could deliver a kick to the side of the head. And Kratos grabs his head, headbutting him. I know that shit hurt. Yeah. Bald niggas got plus 20% cranium damage, picking up Balder and windmilling him like a basketball, chucking him mad far away, hitting a branch in the process. Balder gets up ASAP no Rocky and tries to hit Kratos with a fire attack, but he gets blocked. And thought he was slick running up, but that shit gets blocked too, getting bitch slapped away. This is like the second or third time he's failed to catch Kratos lacking. Sneak Nation is denouncing him as we speak. They box for a little bit, and then Balder goes in for a signature move which he's been hitting Kratos with every fight. But Kratos says, I'm familiar with your game. You would have thought bro had a shotting gun. <laughs> Knowing what's coming next, whipping out his blades, latching onto Balder, and shouldering the shit out of him to the ground. They both get up and this is when Atreus and Kratos just start walling yep. on him. So this Fight is back. a father-son bonding I be hearing Ooh. about. I cannot relate. My pops <laughs> left to go get milk when I was six. I should have known it was raps because everybody in here is literally lactose. Kratos yeah. eventually slams Balder and oh my goodness there's really nothing I can say about this part yeah, except for the fact that Balder is getting his face rearranged you must think he a Kardashian or something <laughs> Kratos is absolutely spazzing on bro I Jeez, hope you feel bad the giant interrupts though showing off his spit game trying to rival Riley Reed <laughs> blowing freezing cold air at them to get them to stop all this madness and Atreus starts to freeze to death he left his Canada goose jacket out he wasn't prepared for all this 
But then, out of nowhere, KD, Kevin Durant, comes through to save the day. To teach this giant a lesson about minding his own damn business. Kratos, Atreus, Freya, and Balder all fall back down to the ground, taking minimal fall damage in the process. But Kratos has had enough. The games end here. Yeah. He goes in for the kill, but Freya is able to convince him to stop. And just let her and her son talk this out, handle it as adults. And honestly, this gotta be the most demented family dynamic I've ever seen. That's Balder where. got tied at her for stopping him from dying talking about some you just can't help yourself mother always interfering with what i got going on they chat for a little and then freya goes in for a hug but balder was only interested in hugging her throat with his hands starts choking the life out of her got her on her knees God so damn. now she's the same height as him but here comes Captain Sabaho, <laughs> waving in the wind and everything, yeah. stopping Boulder from putting Snap her on a t-shirt. And this is when Boulder asks, bro, why do you even care what we got going on? This is exactly what I've been saying. This game seems like it would have been a lot shorter if niggas just knew how to mind their business. <laughs> Snapping Boulder's neck and then killing him once and for all. And remember when I said this family is demented and twisted as hell? Kratos just saved Freya's life from her murderous son. And what does she do? She runs over to her son, starts crying, fair. But then tells Kratos she's gonna rain every piece of agony and violation possible on top of him. Wish Kratos did. looking like, what she what say fuck me for? for? <laughs> this is why I said throughout the entire video, he shouldn't be out here saving these hoes. Did not he hear the J. Cole song? <laughs> that was great, man. Oh, man. But yeah, this entire fight, God of War, brings back so much memories, I swear. I Beating this back, I think... I think three years ago, yeah, three years ago, I beat in this game. And man, this this entire fight, boss fight with Baldor was absolutely beyond epic. One of the greatest, greatest fights I've seen in the game ever, man. And whoo, wow. Ragnarok was just beyond epic as well. I mean, my goodness, man. That's, I, I, seriously, no wonder this is actually is my favorite game of the last decade, 2010s. <clears throat> Definitely is my favorite game of 2010s, hands down, one of them. Grades of all time. Grades of all time. W recap, Blake Boy. W recap. So, all squad, there you have it. That was my reaction to Blake Boy's recap of God of War fights between Kratos and Baldor. And man, this brings about so much memories playing this. I was like, yo, this is absolutely freaking beyond epic. And overall, yeah, man, I just, it was just like, damn, what a experience. What a hell of a game experience I played this game, played this game overall. So, yeah, y'all. That was my reaction. Freaking loved it. Lovely recap. Um, w recap, Blank Boy. So, Hot Squad, uh, stay tuned, y'all, because I have another Blank Boy recap that I'm going to do the Blank Boy recap of King Kong, the Peter Jackson's King Kong, by the way. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.